Good morning. Today's board is a Guild's Cornucopia board. Um, so there is like drawn trashing and stuff. So there's also Merchant Guild Masterpiece is a thing now. Um, it didn't used to be a thing, but it's a thing now. That's a little bit scary. I mean, frankly, the draw is a little weakish here. I mean, it's okay. Um... like but it's not and um but trashing is fine but again not insane so the path here would probably be something like silver doctor opening then you trash down in a horn and go from there you'd have a candlestick maker Hamlet probably or Hamlet and then maybe a candlestick maker until you had like four uniques copper Hamlet silver horn and you'd be gaining advisors and then you'd be gaining journeyman and you'd be gaining more horn etc cetera, etc cetera. it would be okay and then getting horn of plenty gains a card per differently name costing up to one per differently named card you have in play so like it's a general a uh, strategy with Horn of Plenty on boards where there's like draw and stuff to to build to a point where you can just take like five or six provinces at once with the Horn of Plenty's. Um, but you have to have eight uniques, but that's pretty easy to do here. You can get copper or candlestick maker, hamlet, copper, silver, advisor, horn, journeyman, and then. Jester Gold or Merchant Guild, one of them. or maybe even your if you can still keep playing your Doctor at the end if you have to, that would be fine too. So that's that deck, and then the the, the Masterpiece deck is pretty simple. You just buy Silvers until you buy Merchant Guilds, and then whenever you have Merchant Guilds in play, you probably just like overpay Masterpieces, get and do that a couple times. Then you just buy provinces. So that deck is not too complicated. It would probably only buy like silver, merchant guild, a masterpiece, and then province. Maybe a gold at some point. Um, so the question is what will the bot do and will it be like faster than the Horn of Plenty? The Horn of Plenty thing is okay. I just, what I don't know is how fast the Masterpiece Merchant Guild stuff works because I haven't played it. But I know it exists. I just don't know how quick it is. So I'm trying to think here because I don't want to lose. And there's definitely some chance of that happening if we, if we mess up here. The Doctor thing would be more appealing if we had the 4-3. But we do not. So that makes it uh, kind of noticeably worse. Let's, let's see. Let's just try. What I'm a little worried about is that the bot has the 5-2, and then that could be a little scary. So the first, I think, yeah... I'm a little worried about the 5-2 here because they're going to take Merchant Guild and then they're just off to the races on that. And that can be hard to beat even for mirroring. This feels uh, a little scary at this stage, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, they're going to take the Merchant Guild. We'll follow. <clears throat> they, yeah, so like they're able to accumulate a coffer here, so that just ups their... Candlestick maker when it comes. Yes, this is kind of the fear. We bottom decked our merchant guild as well. I don't think I'll add a third merchant guild. I think I'll just take a gold. 
Um, so like the difference here between the masterpieces is uh, quite large. We're going to lose here. <laughs> like there's almost no doubt that we're going to lose this. Um, I say that, I mean, it could probably not. The, I mean, we probably are pretty much toast from this point. You just got to buy provinces and hope that we keep pace, but <clears throat> we're first player, so we probably here need to do, uh, this is not going to, we're going to do an overpay here, but the bot will probably hit province again. Okay, they're not going to miss duchy either. We don't hit our... We just have to go for it. Well, how much money would we have here? We're going to lose, but we probably just have to go for it. It's like... This was going to be tough on the 2-5 versus the 2-5, especially the draw they had for it. Um, so we take Duchy, they get Province. Province Duchy still loses. So we just have to go for it here and hope they miss. We didn't even hit 8, so it didn't matter. We had awful draws there. But All right, let's try... Um, this is going to be just really tough against a 2-5 where they get the, um, where they get the turn three, so they get the turn three at a coffer by a silver, so they don't have to spend that coffer for anything, and then the turn four, um, <clears throat> this could have only been a little bit worse. If there had been four coppers here, this would have been a little bit worse. But that's the only way this shuffle could be better for the bot. Um, this is just sort of brutal. Oh, I don't know. We we bottom decked our merchant guild, so it just wasn't wasn't happening. Okay, so, yeah, and then obviously we played the same deck, essentially, which is really not what you want to do against the bot, because that's your way to lose, but here it looked like it was probably pretty good regardless. I mean, what was the turn count on this? It couldn't have been too terribly long. All right, so let's try. I don't think on this draw it'll work. It would be better if we just kind of reloaded the kingdom and saw what it did against, like, the 3-4 and stuff. Um, I don't think this will probably work at all, but we'll try it. What? Is that how this works? I wonder. I don't even know if that's the rules. Must be. I don't think this. I th Maybe the overpay rules changed. I don't remember. There was some change. I mean, there was some wording change, but I don't know that it was a functional change. Maybe this was always possible. This is especially bad. This was okay, at least. There's two estates down in here, which is nice. We only we only hit one. Um, you get a candlestick, man. Bot, of course, is still able to do their thing. We're not trashing particularly quickly, unfortunately.
Let's get a couple of visors until we're drawing deck a little better. This is rough. He gave us the Hamlets, which is nice. Uh, doesn't matter a whole lot. There's like, there's still more coppers, I think, than anything. It's always going to be that estate. But. Okay. I'm just going to get another journeyman. It maybe was time for another Hamlet, but okay, we've been stopped here, which is great. I mean, we can either try and trash, so we've trashed, there's one copper, so it's not really that good. The drawing on is also not particularly good, so let's buy a horn. <clears throat> We still actually have an okay shot here. The bot's not like flying by any stretch. Um, we're gonna do this, then we're gonna name curse. Then we're just gonna Guess we can get a buy. I don't need it, but oh yeah, we get to top deck a hamel that way. Uh, yeah. So now we're probably gonna win. I mean, we'll at least be competitive from here. Um, I guess we don't have eight bucks, so we can't just end it turn, but. I feel like the bot, they didn't do much. This is weird. This is like different than it went in our game. <laughs> Where I played the bot, or when I mirrored the bot, right? Because it ended on turn 12, right? <laughs> Which means the bot had like four provinces by then. I don't know what's... I don't know what's different here. Their shuffles are just different. I guess this doctor... Oh, I know what happened. This doctor shifted the RNG thing. So these, all these shuffles are going to be different. Well, no, it really shouldn't have done that. We need the thing where we can see what their hands are. Because, like... They should have already shuffled their deck. So I don't know why here... I don't know why this time it's only two coppers coming down. And they're buying candlestick makers rather than merchant guild. This is the thing about the AI. Um, I'm pretty sure they had the exact same hand and they just chose to do candlestick makers and to spend coffers for no reason. Um... Because there's nothing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This happened before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it did change the shuffle. I take it back. What I said, I think, is correct. This, this, this part here shuffles my deck. Uh, though I would have shuffled my deck anyway at the end, but still, it, it does probably change the RNG path a little bit. 
either in the number of calls it has to make or something to the R to the RNG. Anyway, I think it did change it, and so that this shuffle, I think the bot just did not actually draw three three coppers here, so it decided to do this, which is probably pretty bad. And then it's just not this. I mean, in the in the shuffle it had in the first game we played, at this point it gets um, on this turn it adds two silvers, a masterpiece, and a copper, and it gets four four coffers. Here it's just adding two candlestick makers and two coffers, which is pretty noticeably worse because the candlestick makers aren't really very good. Um, and then it does this masterpiece when it doesn't have a merchant guild in place so it basically is just spent all its coffers now so it's not going into the in my game that we played first when it went into the greening phase it just had a ton of offers and it's doing that from here but it's a little bit you know it's it's a couple turns later anyway so i'm not gonna have i don't have I don't have eight bucks, so I can't buy the province and gain five of them. We'll just add a couple more horns and more draw. And maybe try and top deck like at least a Hamlin or something. The bot will probably be able to buy a province, which means we're gonna need to be able to get four provinces and two duchies beat it because province dutch you will need three i don't know where we're at now we can at least top deck a hamlet like if we had eight dollars for a couple bucks short if we had eight dollars now we could just empty and it would be over uh, we don't have that. We need at least probably a couple more horns. And then... I mean, we could get like a jester or something, but I think that's that's not super good. So we're just going to get some draw. We could even add another horn. I don't know about that. As long as we have enough money to buy a duchy, we should be okay. <clears throat> we might as well bend this coffer and get another hamlet. Like, we didn't find any of the draw, so we're going to need to... Um, well, this is... I guess we can play the advisor and see. At some point, we're going to need to play the doctor to try and find the journeyman. Um, I guess we do it now. Okay. So, do like this. And for journeyman, we're gonna name Horn of Plenty. We wanna draw, pass those to our other draw cards. Um, I don't know all what's in here. We do still need to draw <coughs> copper and silver. Oh, but we had an advisor, so we'll get it all. Okay. This works, but the shuffle, I mean, it it mostly only works. But we kind of had bad draws too. I think it's probably a little better. Uh, again, the issue with trying to do it here is like this. Like, this is terrible. 
by Dr. Reveal Doctor. This is awful. <laughs> so it was really quite slow for this sh for this opening hand of this seed anyway. Um I don't know. I think probably this is the line. But the other line is fast. <laughs> like the other line is fast with, with decent draws. But it's not clear to me. Um but anyway, this is good enough to win it this way, but of course it doesn't matter. Just This is almost more a lesson again in how kind of chaotic the bot is than anything because well it's a lesson of the thing. It's actually a nice board. It has two kind of divergent strategies. And, but the thing is just how different the bot path becomes if instead of getting the turn we saw the first time we played it, it does this stuff because it shuffles like slightly different. And then this way of doing things is just way slower. I mean, it buys its fourth province on turn. I guess it buys it on 13, but yeah. And in our game, it bought it on 12, or was that its fifth province? I think it was just its third, but it had an extra duchy on me. Um, but by 12, it had had like four provinces, two duchies, which it didn't have that many duchies here. Um, but obviously, like 13 turns was a, was sufficient. And I maybe, how much did I end up with here? So I only end up with 30 here. So it's not like I was in a position to make up a five province deficit after trashing my estate, so. <clears throat> if we give the bot another turn, it, uh, now it may not hit province again. This isn't great, but. So if it, let's, now I'm just rambling, but. Anyway, I was not very happy with the shuffles. The other thing we can check on is like a delayed doctor. So like instead of doctor whatever, do you like double silver? Yeah, this is like, again, this is more just probing the RNG than anything. But this is like a way better sequence of <laughs> sequence of openings probably especially here if we hit a good number of coppers yeah like this is i don't know what did the bot see but this time the bot should be back to their other thing right yeah so the bot's back to the better shuffle because we didn't do the the doctor stuff this is just silver and horn left in here. We can really. I don't know if we trash this silver or not. I mean, we could get them top decked, I guess. By Hamlet. Why do I have a... Oh, they discard the journeyman. Um, We do need to buy. We could just go pretty heavy on advisors this time. We kind of have more of the. 
the deck composition for it at this point. Now, you run into this issue, though, which isn't great. Um, which is we're just failing to find the hamlets. Or the, the mod has kind of control over what we draw. <clears throat> I mean, some of the advisor stuff is pretty nice, but um, we can just trash one copper and leave a advisor on top. Uh, we just need the candlestick maker now. Yeah, we're getting in here and about. I guess we could go for a gold rather, and then we would have two, three, four. Then we would have um, enough to just buy a province if we draw a deck. Yeah, at this point, they're kind of giving us what we need without having to ask for it. One nice thing about the advisor versus the Hamlet Jeremian thing is you don't have to click so much. Um... What? Oh, there wasn't... They don't make you name for Doctor if there aren't any cards left. I was trying to just name Curse. Yeah, this is... This is maybe the more uh, robust line the way on the 3-4. On the maybe you just do double silver. But also, I drew the two silvers turn 3, which is also, like, better luck than all you normally get i probably have another turn here though on this point i already had four horns if i can't win on this turn and they buy another province which they're pretty likely to do i can just i can get enough horns on my turn to make up that gap probably It'll be a little, to get to 33, we would need, the, the estate trash is a little more. We would need, how many, 18, we need 18, we need five duchies, three province, and an estate. Yeah, that's a little rough. Maybe if we've bought one, eh, it's. It's still probably doable if you get the draw, which we can set up a little bit with the Doctor at the end and Hamlets. I think we can probably top deck Hamlet tournament. I think we had that unplayed. So probably you can still win even if you're not ready to win this turn, win the next turn. All right, well, that's, uh, that's Horn of Plenty. Very good card. I didn't use it. I should have not played the mirrored thing against the bot since I knew they had the better opening for it. I should have just gone for the build, but you live and learn. So, All right, we take another loss. So far, we only get our streaks up around seven, and then, then we lose them. So hopefully we get a longer one, but can't always do it. Uh, in any case, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.